Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's the same day that I made the breakfast burritos, but it's later in the day. I decided to go ahead and prep this chicken. If you saw my other video, you know the Ziploc bags didn't work, so I had to leave and go get some more. Oh yeah, before the chicken police arrive, I know that washing chicken does not kill salmonella. However, that chicken has a nasty film over it, yellow, it has feathers. I like to clean all that off of my chicken. I use vinegar and salt. Sometimes I, I'll use lemon juice and salt. Y'all, that knife is so dull, but I got it from the Dollar Tree, and it's my go-to for cutting chicken. When I go back to the Dollar Tree, I'm gonna me another one. Okay, let's look at this dirty water. Now, I rinsed again three or four times until the water was clear so you can see a difference. Okay, I normally do two packs of chicken to one Ziploc bag and that's enough for my family. We will have um, some hot wings one of these days and of course we'll have sides. So two packs is enough for us and sometimes we have leftover. So I'll do two packs per one Ziploc bag. I like to cut the chicken up just because all them feathers on them tips, I'm not finna pick them off. Um, and then we prefer the chicken cut up anyway. So I like to go ahead and cut them up. Fun fact about me, my first job out of high school was working in a chicken processing plant. All I'm doing here is cutting the chicken up. I'll do the same thing, wash and cut up the other two packs of chicken. Also notice I keep a bag to the side to put my chicken packets and um, scraps in. All right, at this point, all chicken has been washed. Now I'm getting ready to bag it up. I like to add this Tony's um, chicken marinade. It adds so much flavor to that chicken and it makes it juicy. You don't have to freeze it like this. If you just buying chicken and finna cook it fresh, you can still put it in there for about 20 minutes. It's good. I just pretty much um, cover all the chicken with marinade and then I'll bag them up, double bag them with these Ziploc bags. And then when I'm ready to cook them, I'll take them out, give them time to thaw, you know, kind of mash them around in that marinade. I'll season them up, onion powder, garlic powder, black pepper, lemon pepper, and my kicking chicken. I season my chicken almost different every time, but that combination right there is so good. Another thing I do, when I deep fry my chicken, as soon as it come out the grease, I will sprinkle a little bit of that slap your mama on top of it. Oh, you gotta try it. When I make hot wings, I will put about half of the chicken and wing sauce and leave the other half plain just because some like it and some don't. So I have on one glove. I worked in healthcare and if you worked in healthcare, you know you need to keep one clean hand. So I have a clean hand and I have that gloved dirty hand. That one hand I'm keeping it clean, holding the bag with, open with, and then the dirty hand I'm using that to put all the chicken inside. That way I don't cross contaminate. All right, pay attention here. Watch what I do. I'm going to pull that glove off, drop it down in that dirty bucket. Now I have two clean hands because I took my glove off. So now I can seal that bag, squeeze the air out.
Let's date this chicken so we'll know what date that we put it in the freezer. And y'all know what does kill salmonella? Bleach. Two bags of chicken ready to go into the freezer and a kitchen that's ready for a bleach and dawn bath. Notice I don't even wear my ring when I'm messing with chicken. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. The kitchen is clean. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. Have a great day.